You have irreconcilables. You can identify them now more, even more than before. And so General McChrystal's Joint Special Operations Command, our counterterrorist forces, later Admiral McRaven's, they amped up their operations even more. Then we had detainees. We had, when I took command, something probably 18, 19,000 detainees, and we were releasing them uh, because of pressure from the Iraqi government. And I said, stop. We are not going to release any more detainees until we have a program for rehabilitating them, for preparing them to go back into society. But we can't even do that until we identify who the hardcore detainees are who are corrupting all the others and who have turned our detention facilities into a terrorist training university. So we stopped that uh, huge pressure from the Iraqi government who wanted their sons back regardless of what they'd done. Uh, they're the tribes at least. And it ultimately was 27,000 before we start, started actually the process. But we had a review process, rehabilitation, job training, basic skills, and a variety of other tasks. But we had to go into these enclosures and find the most extreme pull them out. And by the way, you do that unarmed because you never take a weapon into a detention facility. These are open. There's seven, 800 detainees in one of these enclosures, all very humane, uh, very good food, healthcare, and everything else, but very, very challenging mission for our military police. 